Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to the Patreon account, we're going to be blasting and going over suicides, full length, immortalized, in suffering, unspeakable acts, and te televised suicide. If you don't know suicide, you don't know Australian death metal. Now, Pedden's first tour ever was with Suicide after changing their name from Of Corpse to Pedden. So, I think Julian even played drums on one of their tours. But if you're a fan of like Demolition Hammer style death metal, Suicide play thrashy, filthy, heavy as fuck. Death Metal. I love Immortalized by Suffering. To me, this is a pure example of underrated. Everything about this record, especially the goddamn production, it's just top shelf shit. 2016 recorded. And this is just one of those, like, the art's done by Tarka. Just so good. Like, when it comes to Australian death metal, I always think Suicide. And there's a lot of, like, real sick bands in the Australian death metal scene. I love this poster so goddamn much. In the wastelands of Australia, there is only death. Suicide, immortalized in suffering. I was so glad when I saw that Dark Descent had a copy of this. And the vinyl and cassette are still available on Unspeakable Acts. Very affordable. I think like the vinyl $16.99. Black vinyl and like a six dollar yellow cassette. Such a good record. Like in every way possible. I love the artwork. I love this live photo. It's just death metal for fans. Of fucking death metal. And suicide to me were always. I don't want to say slept on because they weren't. But underrated, I'd say, yeah. Just because I feel like they got kind of just a little caught behind like bands like Faceless Burial and. Like Gutless and other Australian, like gnarly death metal bands. But Suicide, just, they're sadly split up, but immortalized in suffering, immortalized on 12 inches of absolute death metal, thrashy death metal mastery. This shit is top tier, top shelf. Just look at that logo. You know how sick this is. An opening with For Those About to Rot, A Dying Dream, Snars of Carnity, Interlude in Agony. So many good tracks on here. Megalithic Tomb, Eternal in Spirit, In Fixation. Such a good fucking record in every way. And if this is your first experience with Suicide, Unspeakable Acts is like a sister label, kind of, to Dark Descent. And they always put out, like, kind of low-key bangers. And I always felt like Suicide just deserved way more attention. And I hope this video 
garners them a little bit more just because they're such a good fucking band and I feel like people just sleep on them but I really want to get like this on cassette the split with a corpse they have some sick shit the split with uh, cemetery filth suicide at least left behind a gnarly little discography but immortalized and suffering goes back to a less thrashy sound and more death fucking metal and it's awesome i love this record and i am grateful to the patron for suggesting this and dark descent having it in stock and just making life very convenient boom 16.99 like, what a fucking deal. I'm not just saying that. Like, seriously, what a deal. I know this is sold out right now on Dark Descent, but Unspeakable Axe does still have copies of this monster on tape, CD, I, I think, and vinyl. So, all formats are covered. Don't let this go out of print without you having a copy, because... You don't want to be paying like $300 for this in four years or something like that. You never know because this should be, because to me this is one of the best modern death metal records there is. Suicide, Immortalized and Suffering, Modern Classic. Black Vinyl. And just look at that artwork. You know what you're getting into. Death metal for fans of death metal. Suicide. Thank you again to the patron account. I might even make that suicide poster in here part of this month's patron giveaway. But seriously, do not sleep on suicide and do not sleep on Immortalized and Suffering. I know it's not a new release, 2017, but trust me, this still destroys like 95% of what we have on the table today when it comes to death metal. Listen to the sewer side, bang your head, and keep it fucking filthy because these Aussies, you know, really, like, that's why I love it. Like, it sounds like a dirty version of fucking Demolition Hammer just killing it in every way possible. And also thanks to the Patreon account because I love, like I said, death metal in the summer. We're going to be listening to some obscurity, myself. If you don't know what obscurity is, this is one of my favorite New York death metal bands, which, for a long time, but thanks to David at Extremely Rotten Productions, has come out of obscurity, literally. And thanks to Ken's Death Metal Crypt, on its second press, on 12 inches of fucking wax. I hate when people say mini LPs on 12 inches are a waste of wax. Frig off. Let me enjoy my obscurity. Because this is one of my favorite New York like death metal demos ever. And... I would love it on cassette, but I am beyond grateful to have this bad boy just in some way, shape, or form, along with uh, CDN records, Growl records, but uh, seriously, like, they played some gnarly shows on here, like with Baphomet, uh, Human Remains, Grotesque Infection. 
Sick shit. Ritual Torment. I'm not sure which Discord this is. I mean, it could be like an East Coast Discord that I just never heard about, but... It's just sick, like, seeing, like, Baphomet with fucking grotesque infections, demorphosis, vile vindiction, discontent, and obscurity. Like, this, just a ridiculous lineup. And just hails to Ed McCarthy and company, Andy uh, Chambers, Brian Chambers, Mike Jackson, and Joe Graves. Joe Graves' vocals are so sick. And Dave killed it with the LP, like, relay out. Like, I, I just, I love that shit. So good. I don't know why I went over this. I'm sorry. I'm a little, a little lit. <laughs> but, I didn't mean, I honestly didn't mean to just talk about obscurity for a second. But, listen to obscurity with your sewer side. Have a nice death metal day for you lined up. But, Suicide, Immortalized and Suffering, one of my favorite modern death metal records. And I know some of you might be like, 2017 is not modern. Mm -hmm. Well, technically speaking, from 2013 to now, I consider the modern age of American death metal. So, pardon if we have different opinions why it's an opinion but suicide immortalized and suffering one of my favorites and i'm not being biased either it's just a total fucking banger of an album but thanks for watching as always you fucking rule today's video is brought to you again by the patreon account patreon picks are very important do your part